everybody, I'm Landon. Let's get right into this. This is an Epiphone Les Paul Standard Plus Top Pro in a, a pretty trans blue, translucent blue. Hope that shows well on the camera. It's looking pretty right now. This is my first personally owned Les Paul. So if you're in the market for Les Paul and you don't want to break the bank and you want something that's good value, plays well, sounds good, has good hardware, I think this is a great bet and I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's so new I haven't even taken the stickers off yet. What we're gonna do in this video is, well, I'll go over all the specs of the guitar and play through all the different uh, pickup combinations and tone combinations. Give you a little demo of what this guitar can do. And if we're lucky enough, I might even do a little Dr. Epiphone Hi, folks. demonstration by playing some A chord. Let's go right into the specs. I think this guitar can speak for itself. So I'll let it uh, just go ahead here. But, uh, yeah, see that there? I'll be honest, that sounds like food, plain broiled, right? See that there? Yeah, nice and slim. If you like a, a thick neck, this wouldn't be the kind of thing for you. I didn't know that was, was that. That's amazing. I actually have no clue what words are on the screen right now, so this will be fun to see if what I'm saying matches up with anything. No witch's teeth on this one. Got that, got that. And look at these. Clicky, clicky. Enough nonsense. Let's do some quick tone demos on the clean channel of the amp here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just play some basic strumming and I'll do all the different combinations and then we'll get into some dirtier stuff after. And we'll do the same thing again. I'm gonna turn the, uh, the humbuckers into single coils. So you just pull up the knob and you might be able to hear a little bit of a, a buzz starting there because it's not bucking the hum anymore. So I'll do it with both. Definitely some more kind of twangy tones, right? Something I probably wouldn't really use too much. When I think of a Les Paul, I think of humbuckers. I don't think of single coils. The volume was definitely a lot lower on that. I could tell that for sure. Let's bring on the dirt channel on the PV here. All right, this is neck. That's gonna do it. That's just a quick little tone demo of the guitar. Like I said before, if you're in the market for Les Paul 
you don't have the money for a Gibson or you just don't want to buy a Gibson for any, for any reason, this is a great alternative, I think. These, these uh, humbuckers are awesome in here. A couple things uh, that I've noticed. The, the frets could use a good polish. That's, you know, not a big deal. I can feel it scratching a little bit. Great that they got the Grover tuners. I definitely prefer these over the witch's teeth. That's what I call the plastic ones that are on a lot of Gibsons and a lot of Epiphones as well. And the selector switch on this, surprisingly, is better quality, feels more solid than the selector switch on my Telecaster Pro that I had on the channel recently. That's gonna do it for this quick demo. Again, this is an Epiphone, or is it Epiphany? Maybe I'll call it Epiphany. No, I'm just kidding. Epiphone Les Paul Standard Pro Plus Top, or Plus Top Pro. You can say it whatever, however you wanna say it. Again, I'm Landon, thank you for checking out my video. And in the meantime, check out my other videos. And if you did like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, stick your thumb somewhere. All right, as I say sometimes, when I remember to, play guitar and have fun, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. No, I'm just, I'm just waiting for you to click on the next video so I can leave. I don't want to be sitting here doing nothing like this. It's awkward. Click on that one. Or that one, or that one. That, you'll probably like that one the most. That's recommended for you.